Roswell Flight Test Crew here at Interdrone 2018 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. And I'm talking to Adam Schlender at the Doosan booth. How are you doing, Adam? Doing great. Thanks, Patrick. There are these like amazing giant drones everywhere, but I've never heard the name Doosan before. Doosan is a Fortune 500 company based in South Korea. They make construction equipment, tools that support large-scale infrastructure projects. So Bobcat is a brand that many people may recognize, and they've also developed uh, hydrogen fuel cell technology for on-site power generation. So if you've got a, a big project that's you know kind of far away and, and you want to be able to, able to store and generate power on site they've developed fuel cells for that and now they're bringing it to the drone market to create a long endurance multi-rotor specifically so these are all hydrogen powered so what sort of performance are you getting from them there's two models you can take an m600 which conventionally is a, you know maybe 20 minute flight time and now extend that to nearly two hours there's a completely purpose-built for the fuel cell platform that's more in the two and a half to three hour range and that's just flight time so what's particularly powerful with the hydrogen fuel cell, you're now extending the amount of data that you can collect in a given flight by almost 10 times or more. Wow. So what sort of industries or applications do you specifically see this being deployed in? Surveying, sort of long linear types of inspection, pipelines, transmission lines, large vertical assets, dams and bridges and those sort of things. In one sense, it's sort of taking the domain of fixed wing platforms that can kind of only do the, the nadir sort of imagery. It's not only doubling the capacity to, to collect data in a given in flight, but it's also giving you the benefit of a multi-rotor so you can have gimbaled payloads or multiple gimbaled payloads, be able to sort of address the Z-axis. So you can capture a very large asset that might be, even be very far away and you could collect data vertically, which is something that you just couldn't do previously. So you kind of get the benefits of both a multi-rotor and a fixed wing and double the flight time. Now you mentioned that one of these is built on top of an M600, so is this giant head sort of something you can drop onto different platforms? Yeah, absolutely. It can be integrated into pretty much any, any platform. You know, this model behind us right here is the fuel cell applied to an M600. Outside of this extra sort of mass on top, it's all the same payloads and the same user experience and the actual operation of it. So all of, you know, the controller and everything that you might be comfortable with from DJI, now you can just extend that flight time to two hours. Describe for people how they would actually use this thing in the field. It's really just sort of a simple locking mechanism, nothing complicated in the operation at all. Now the question that everyone always wants to know about a new drone, especially one as cool as this, when's it going to be available and how much is it going to cost? <laughs> right on. Uh, Q2 of 2019, you know, the price point depending on the model that you're looking at is in the, the $30,000 to $45,000 range. Well, Adam, thank you so much for the time. It's a great technology. Looking forward to seeing more of it. Appreciate it. Thanks, Patrick. All right, and from Interdrone 2018, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off. Thanks again. Thank you.